and welcome to Wait. This is where we're going to make your animations seem like they are based in reality. And, you know, getting uh, the weight to work correctly is uh, an important step in that direction. Uh, weighting can be very, uh, very hard to get right, but uh, with a few tips, uh, you can make it easy. The first one is anticipation. So if you have a character that's lifting something heavy, uh, make sure that he's not just, you know, grabbing it up. Um, make sure that he actually anticipates, you know, um, carrying it up. That really sells uh, the weight a lot. So make sure that your character truly anticipates the lift or anything that has to do with the weight. The other thing to uh, look out for is the spine of a character. And uh, I'm just going to give you an example. Here we have a, a character lifting up a very heavy ball. All right. And you can imagine it must be made out of something very heavy. Uh, he's anticipating it here and just, you know, getting it up in the air. Um, it's just, you know, blocked animation, uh, so uh, no finaling. But uh, if you look at the spine here, just look at how it sort of curves back uh, as he's bending down here. And uh, as he gets uh, right down, you can see he's sort of uh, squishing up against the ball and trying to get a hold of it. And so by carefully mangling the spine, um, you can do something that looks nice. Also because, uh, you know, the spine is really what you use uh, to carry the, the weight. And um, so here again, he's getting down, uh, trying to lift the ball. Uh, and then as he gets up, um, first of all, of course, it's the legs that, that carry the ball up. And then he's going to try to, you know, uh, pull the ball backwards and get in under the ball with the spine and, um, you know, get it over his body. And so these are, you know, some of the stages you'll go through uh, in lifting a very heavy object. And here he has a, a very straight spine because he's really holding it. And, um, and so what you need to think about is the center of gravity and also the balance of weight. Of course, if you have something very heavy, uh, you know, in one arm, uh, you can't just stand normally. You have to get in under the weight. So always rem sort of just think about, you know, gravity as a downward pulling force. And if you have something heavy, uh, you need to get in under that weight um, to be able to carry it. And so if you always think about gravity in this way, uh, making animations and poses that really illustrate uh, weight becomes quite a lot easier. And think about how uh, the different weights in the scene influence each other as well. And this should at least, uh, you know, help you get started um, with doing animations that involve a lot of weight. Thanks for listening.